you know, I had a blast watching the movie. It's good to see you both. Uh, first of all, no, I'm going to start with you. In the comics, Adam Smasher, he's a character. He develops a relationship with Black Adam, and that kind of makes him toe the line himself of hero and villain. So I want to hear for you, with that kind of thing in mind, you know, what was it like to develop a dynamic with Dwayne Johnson and his Black Adam? It was so cool. So, so <laughs> cool, man. I mean, there's there's um, there's a lot of footage, I think. I don't know, because I haven't seen the final, mm. the final take of the film, exactly the final cut, but there's a lot of footage of, of Dwayne and I just riffing back and forth at the end of scenes, just, you know, <laughs> and it was insanely funny. That was something that surprised me. Because um, uh, the film is not written for there to really be much of that, like that's in the comic books. Um, but there was certainly opportunity for it and we both took it and, uh, and that was mind blowing. And also just, you know, having him as a mentor on set was, <laughs> <laughs> what more can you, can you ask? And then before you know it, he's caught in a WWE promo on you, and it's just you know. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Quintessa, of all the characters in the film, your character Cyclone is one of the newer DC Comics characters, and hasn't really appeared in a lot of media outside of comics. So I'd love to hear: was there anything in particular you dove into to research the role, get to know Cyclone, and also put like a definitive live action stamp on it yourself? Yeah, I think like the definitive like live action stamp, if I do say so myself, is just like, like Cyclone's kind of like edgy, like punk lenient style, which I feel like I'm always trying to do for like every character I play. Mm. Um, but also for Cyclone too, I just wanted her to be like the most unique she could possibly be. And for me, when I was looking at the source material in all of the comics, she just seemed so free and so bright eyed and so like, like optimistic about life and I just really wanted to kind of like integrate that into the live action and just really just like have fun honestly um so yeah when you both were auditioning or talking to the filmmakers when this first started to be a possibility for you did you know the roles you were talking about or did they keep that a secret from you until you officially had the parts I, I knew I knew. You knew yeah I knew yeah did you I think I knew as well yeah, yeah. and I was I like was who <laughs> and then I was like, <laughs> I was like, <laughs> then I just started like looking it up. I was like, I could work with it. I could work with it. I could work with it. Yeah. And now everybody knows Cyclone. It's awesome. That's awesome. Uh, there, there are several sequences in the in the film now where where Adam Smasher is running through the city of Kandak and just destroying buildings, and he's gigantic. If I were to look at you on set creating those moments is there something like what does that look like is that actually you recording any of that well I, we, so we, i was in performance capture for for a lot of the of course the cgi moments but there were moments in real life where i was running through a built city condock on the back lot in atlanta where we shot it um i actually dislocated my arm <laughs> I'm so happy you brought it up. I don't know why you haven't brought it up. I haven't brought it up once. Not once. Twice. I dislocated twice. Yeah, yeah. Or was it three times? I four times in Atlanta. Oh, there you go. I don't know why you haven't mentioned it. I don't know. I forgot about it. Yeah. But like there was a scene where I'm like I'm like running. So I run about 40 yards one direction and they're trailing in the car and then I I realize, you know, what I realize and then I have to run 60 yards the other direction. So they, I'm sure they took that and took the way that I was running and probably went in as they, they edited beyond. And I put a lot of personality. I mean, as you know, I wear a hood a lot of the time in the action, but there's a lot of physicality in the role that either is funny or like creates tension. Um, so I'm sure they probably just kind of picked up those different things and, and put it into the post-production and made it even better. <laughs> oh, having seen the movie, I'll tell you, it came out really, really nice. And I'm glad the shoulder healed up for you. So <laughs> thank you both so much for talking and congratulations. Thank you. So good thank to see you, you again, so B. Nice seeing you. 